Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Springfield, Tennessee, or more precisely, uh, Robertson County, Tennessee. With a soft heart who was just pulled over because, well, he had no license plates on his vehicle. Not only that, but he outright refuses to identify himself to the officer and gets arrested within a less than two minutes by a no-nonsense Tennessee officer. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the short show, but a good show nonetheless. What's your name and badge number? Deputy Duffy, Robinson County Sheriff's Office, 546. 546, thank you. Yes, sir. I need your ID. You do not need my ID. Right. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, soft hard, but try again. In the state of uh, Tennessee, you have to present your license when you're at a traffic stop. So uh, if you could stop reading that sovereign citizen garbage and actually read something that won't melt your brain, you would understand that, well, you have to do so in certain situations, such as this one. Step out of the vehicle. I do not need to step out of the vehicle. Yes, you do, sir. What's the law that states this? I have not broken the law. You're not, you're failing to identify. That is not a law to identify. Yes, it is, sir. For a traffic offense, yes, it is. What offense? You don't have a registration. Because plate I'm traveling. Plate. There's no such thing as traveling. Yes, All there right? is. Well, I'm sorry, officer, but yes, there is such a thing as traveling. But in this case, it's the soft heart who's definitely more in the wrong here, considering that he doesn't know the difference between traveling and driving. Traveling is going from point A to point B, while driving a motor vehicle is a method of traveling. And in this case, my Savtar dummy, you are driving a motor vehicle on the public highways. So therefore, you have to follow the Tennessee laws. Which basically states that in order for you to operate a motor vehicle on the public highways, you have to have plates on your vehicle. No ifs, ands, or buts, and I know you bring up the fact that you are a veteran later on in the video, but that is not an exemption, sir. Get out of the vehicle, or I'm going to pull you out of the vehicle. Why are you going to get physical with me? Because you're not I obeying. want you to get your supervisor. Please cease and desist right now. I want to speak to your... Oh, he's one of these sovereign citizens that believes that he can actually command an officer to, to just walk away from the situation. Oh, bravo. Try that again and see how well that works. And get your supervisor. That's that 50. Central, can you ask Springfield units to add this place? Come on. I'm a vet. I've had heart surgery. I don't. I don't need to try to defend myself or get hurt for doing nothing. I haven't broken any laws. Let me ask you something, dude. Did you have this sovereign citizen doctrine put into your head while you were in the military, or did it happen afterwards? Because. I don't think this kind of attitude would have sat too well with any of your superior officers. That's if you were ever in the military at all. You're going to get out of the vehicle. I have no problem getting out. Get out of the vehicle. If you just justify why the what I just law think you're is it? Failing to identify yourself. State the law that says that. What do you mean state the law? The, the law quote, says the, you have to identify yourself. What is the law, sir? Get out of the vehicle. I'm still in this, and I'm armed, sir. Get out See, of the vehicle. You're gonna physically. I'm doing this under threat of duress. Of That's arrest. Fine. That's fine. What are you armed with? Pistol. Yes, sir. All right. Go ahead. Why are you taking my pistol now? <laughs> now, where do you want me? Okay, well, uh, stupid is as stupid does, and well, uh. Whether this guy was a veteran or not, this was incredibly stupid of him to act like this. All he had to do was present his ID, if he had one to begin with, and uh, he probably would have just gotten a traffic ticket and nothing more, nothing less. 
But him being a sovereign citizen, he believes the laws don't apply to him anyway. So what you going to do? And I'll tell you what we had need to do. It, it, we need to have more officers like this who don't take any of that sovereign citizen garbage and take care of business quite quickly. So maybe in the future, these softards will think differently before they start to initiate all this uh, rhetoric that still ends up getting them arrested. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.